back into the rock action. First land based mission of the season. It's uh, by no means the prettiest out there. I'm kind of just hiding between the rocks at the moment. Um, it's five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the last week it's been raining, windy, uh, swelly, all the perfect things to, you know, to follow on for a good land based mission. Uh, I got to the beach today, it was, was kind of onshore and not exactly what I, I wanted it to be, but. Um, I had the car packed up so I thought the bugger was going out. So I've just arrived, I'm a bit early. I reckon I've got a, a car wire frame frozen in the bag. I'm gonna put that in as a bit of a burly and just let that soak for now while I just walk around the rocks and see if I can find some kinners and things for um, burly. Um, and then half an hour before we get into it, I'll put the burly bomb in and we'll start fishing. So have a look around then and uh, get into it soon. You. So I'm fishing with my brand new Nano Matrix 6.8 surf rod, rock rod. I uh, haven't used it yet, so it'll be its first time out of the tube and I'm pairing that up with a uh, Akuma Coronado 80. Um, I've used this quite a bit. Mean reel, uh, especially for off the rocks. It's got a bait feeder and it's got 17 kgs worth of drag. So if you're, you're stray lining and you pick up a big kingy, you've got uh, enough drag to hang on to it. So of course I've used that uh, for jigging a few times just to try it out and um, yeah, it's got some good stopping power. So I'll put those together and we'll flick our bait out. Massive, we're on here. It and there's no real rock pools around here, it's a bit swelly to get any out of the uh, edges. Um, so, I might just throw those out to start fishing. Um, leave that car wire in the water to cross, mix around a bit, and uh, put the proper belly in a bit later on once the uh, sun starts going down behind the, the tree line. Yeah, the shade's just here, so probably start fishing. So, this is where I'm going to fish, kind of where I put the belly in. So straight down in here, is, you can see the big rock out there and then those rocks come out but down in this channel through here, it's about 5 metres deep straight down in there and that runs out that way. Um, there's a few rocks and stuff out to this side so yeah I'll mainly be fishing around in here, just lobbing baits into there and let it sink down and pump the burly and hopefully drag something in. Also I forgot in my chest mount and my head mount so I don't know how we're going to do this but Mean rig, love the rod, well weighted with the Coronado lady. Um, might need a weight, I'm just running um, an arm span of Black Magic 60 pound chain and one big um, C point Black Magic 8 barrow hook and then a small Mackie, but a bit of wind here, it might blow a loop in my line, so I might have to put a little weight on, but I'll have a cast and I'll see how we get on, eh? Seems like 
the burley starting to work, uh, fish are starting to bite. That was the second one I caught for another little panty, but just flicking out whole little yellow tails. The wind's blowing a bit, so I've ended up putting a little sinker on. Uh, but yeah, they're getting hit not long after the, the uh, bait's getting out there. A lot of little pickers that are just stripping these real quick, but um, I'm working through them and starting to get some better fish, so we'll see how we get on. Biggest car I've caught in a long time. Car wash. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about bait, so there's my bait. A big car wash. That thought oh, well. Main bait, fresh bait, stay here for longer. Main. Smash that. Got a bit excited there, it hit pretty hard. Um, sent the bait feeder screaming and I locked up and it started pulling line straight away and I leaned back over to switch the GoPro on, thinking it was gonna be a good snapper, but then it started heading sideways, so. Oh, still good fish. Couldn't get the GoPro started. He pretty much started off in the rocks. He was in the rocks the whole time, but. Oh. Oh. That's what we came here for. Yeah. <laughs> Stoked. First, first mission of the season. I've just been getting hammered by little things. I've been just picked at. Um, I just put a big yellow tail out to get through those smaller fish and then this guy hit and what a mission, just an absolute scrap all through the weeds, through the shallows. Oh, so stoked. Good thick tail on him. Um, 
I'll just put them down and get this hook out. Hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth with the Black Magic recurve hook. So stoked. Oh, I'd say he's around the 15, 16 pound mark. Good fish, real good fish. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Hold him up again. Oh. Yeah. All right, let's get this back in the water. Ah, oh, so pumped, so pumped. So stoked. First land based mission of the season. It's uh, oh, was it around the 20th of Feb? Um, yeah, so I just, I just banged out just, just down into here. A big yellow tail. Um, all the little ones were just getting picked by little things, and it was actually just getting picked away by little things. And I just left it. You know, that big snap must have just come up and grabbed it then. Um, and then I locked up and then he was just got bouncing, bounce, 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 bounce. With the feel and rubbing in the weed. And he's pulling line down through the weed straight down in there. I've lost five sets of gear down there today. It's so gnarly. Um, and I was making little bits of ground on him. I was a bit worried with the line, but, but now and then he kind of popped up and came around and I got sight of him. Big snap here, yeah, I'd say around the 15, 16 pound mark. Real nice, dark, kelpy fish. Oh, absolutely stoked for that. Um, perfect flight time just before dark, so I'll get another, I'll get another bait out. Yeah!